Before we move on, I want to reflect on a truly exceptional climate reality leader who we tragically just lost to two weeks and two days ago. Alfredo Cercas was the branch director for Climate Reality Brazil. Alfredo lived a full and fascinating life with lots of impact. And he approached the issues he cared about, like climate and the Amazon and Brazil, with fiery enthusiasm. Earlier in his life, he was a revolutionary. And by the way, I don't use that term in its metaphorical sense. Let me show you a brief conversation I had with President Bolsonaro at the meeting of the World Economic Forum in Davos. I didn't realize this was being filmed. I'm a good friend with Alfredo Circus. Sou um grande amigo, bem próximo de Alfredo Circus. Lá atrás fui inimigo do Circus na luta armada. Way back I was an enemy of Mr. King in the armed struggle. So, this is a picture of Alfredo with his dear friend uh, Sergio Javier in the Amazon. My daughter Corinna took that picture last year. He was also a politician. He believed in democracy. He got the most votes of anyone when he was elected to the council uh, for Rio de Janeiro. And among his many accomplishments on that council, all of the bike paths in Rio are named after him today. He was a founder of the Brazilian Green Party and a presidential candidate. He was a journalist, an author, many books, and he was a dear personal friend to me. For the last several years, he was with Climate Reality Brazil, finding new and creative ways to advance climate action in his country against very heavy opposition. He gave you the feeling that he could not be stopped. And quite frankly, he couldn't be stopped. And his memory lives on. Here he is uh, with his green, green ring from Climate Reality. He had asked his family that when he, whenever he went to his final rest, he wanted to be wearing that pin. While his loss is a loss for climate reality, for Brazil, and for global climate action, his work continues through our strong team in Brazil and with each and every one of you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are very fortunate today to be joined by his daughter, Anna, to share her memories of her father. Anna, thank you so much for joining us. God bless you and your family. And uh, as we spoke earlier, I wanted to, to give you an opportunity uh, on behalf of your family to share a few words about your dad. Thank you so much, Al. My dad was an idealist, but a different type of idealist. He was practical, he had focused vision, and he was a fearless fighter. People would say his legacy can be summarized in his respect of democracy, his value of individual rights, and his passion for the environment, protection, and recovery. But for me, as his daughter, I will say his biggest legacy is love. As a father, he was always present and so very affectionate. We had lived in different countries for over 20 years, but he still called me every night on video to say, I just want to see your face and say, hi, tell me what's new with you today. During the quarantine, we would laugh as I would say, well, the same as yesterday, dad. <laughs> as a leader, my dad also put all his heart in everything he did. During the Brazilian dictatorship, he joined the student movement to help free his friends, putting his life at risk for his love of them. During exile, he said that every day he thought about his love for his country. So when he came back to Brazil, he immediately co-founded the Brazilian Green Party as he saw the environment and individual rights were intrinsic in economic development. During his trips abroad, he fell in love with urban planning and how a well-organized city can bring joy and quality of life to people. So he created the first and now largest bike path in Latin America here in Rio. His love often turned dangerous though, as 
in his, his fights to protect Rio de Janeiro's environment and the creation of parks over illegal constructions in protected areas, he received multiple threats to his life, but he never stopped. He always kept going. Both in city council and in the House of Representatives, he was multiple times elected as one of the most influential leaders as he had the opportunity to partner in the creation of multiple initiatives that helped Brazil become an international reference in the protection of the environment and in sustainability. After he decided to retire from elected office, he fought as a representative of the Brazilian Forum of Climate Change in the Paris Agreement negotiations and to decarbonize the economy amongst multiple other initiatives that he was involved with. His biggest desire was to train a new generation of climate leaders and partnering with the Climate Reality Project was one of his proudest accomplishments. And he always wore his pin. Lately, he was very disheartened by the toxicity of politics. And he always said that love was the only path to overcome our differences. In the 10 books he wrote, including his second autobiography, Descarbonario, that he released just one week before his death, his message was clear as he quoted Albert Einstein, we have to do the best we can this is our sacred human responsibility. My dad is already desperately missed and we all have a very big shoes to fill, to expand on his legacy and to honor his name. But he taught me to love, to be strong and not to be afraid to fight fiercely for what is right. I know he will continue to be my anchor and guiding light every day of my life. And I hope that as you learn about his work and his lessons, he will inspire you too. Thank you. Um, thank you, uh, Anna. So moving and so, so touching. Al Alfredo was a, a dear friend and someone who truly exemplified the purpose and heart of everything we're trying to do with these climate leaders and uh, climate reality and the staff, and he went above and beyond the call to action. Before you go and rejoin your family, Anna, I want to share with you an announcement. You know, uh, after every one of these trainings, your dad came to the training in Rio back in 2014 when I first uh, met him, uh, at the end of every training, we give uh, the highest award we can give, the Green Ring Award, to a truly exemplary uh, climate reality leader. And I wanted you to know that we were all so moved uh, by the tragic and sudden loss of your dad. We have decided, uh, all of us unanim unanimously, that from this day forward, the Green Ring Award will be named the Alfredo Circus Memorial Green Ring Award. Thank you so much. We will do our part to remember your father. And please uh, give all of our condolences uh, to your family. And thank you so much once more for joining us during this training. God bless you. Thank you so much. Obrigado. We will miss Alfredo. And I'm quite certain that if he were here today, he would be so proud of the climate leaders participating in this training and who are committed to continuing this fight. No matter the odds, the effort is worth it, and we will win. Thank you.